when and how to clear a handgun. Hi folks, Steve from Martel Training Group. Today I'd like to talk about when you should clear a handgun and make sure that it's safe and how to do so properly. Now this concept applies to all firearms, but today I'm going to demonstrate with handguns. As more people are becoming gun owners and as more permits to carry are being issued since the NYSERPA versus Bruin decision, I think it's important to talk about when and how to clear, properly clear a handgun. Now, if you're former military or police or you're an experienced gun owner, then this is gonna be a review for you. I'm referring to checking to see that the weapon is, uh, is clear of ammunition. So if there's ammunition in the weapon, how do we clear it, remove the ammunition and render that weapon safe. First, we're going to cover the when part. When do you need to clear a handgun? For example, do you need to clear a handgun after you just watch someone do it in front of you and hand you the weapon? I say absolutely you need to do it. You need to do it each and every time you either pick up a firearm or someone hands it to you. And to me, it doesn't matter that they just cleared it. You need to clear it yourself. You need to make sure that weapon is safe. If it's going to be under your control, if you're handling that firearm, you are the person that needs to render it safe. Make sure it's safe. The last thing you want to do is handle a firearm that you think is unloaded. And going through the process each time instills that muscle memory that causes you to do it every time. So you don't even think about it. Somebody hands you a firearm, you automatically clear it. You pick up a firearm, you automatically clear it. Doesn't matter if it's been cleared, doesn't matter if it's your firearm and you know you store it unloaded, that doesn't matter. You pick it up and muscle memory, you should automatically be clearing every firearm that you pick up for the first time. It's like when you're driving down the highway and you've been driving for a while on a multi-lane highway and you haven't seen any cars for a while, you wanna change lanes for whatever reason, you know in your head no one's behind you, no one's near you, but you look anyway. You're a good driving instructor will teach you always look, even if you know someone's not there, look, because it instills that muscle memory. It, that's your, your teaching, you're training your body to turn and look. You wanna change lanes, you turn and look every time. Every so often you're going to turn and look thinking no one's there and there's going to be a car there. And it's the same thing with firearms. If you do it every time, even if you think it's unloaded, even if you say, well, you know what? I put it in my safe. It was unloaded. I don't need to check it. You go through that, that motion, that process, you're going to find, and if you handle guns enough, you're going to find that something, it's going to be loaded. It's something's going to be the way you didn't think it was. And as long as you are checking each gun when you first pick it up, you're not gonna have a problem. Now for the how part. We're gonna actually demonstrate how to properly clear a revolver and a semi-automatic handgun. And of course, I'm gonna use dummy rounds so it's safe. Okay, folks, now we're gonna cover the how part. I'm gonna talk about both revolvers and semi-automatic handguns. These are not live rounds, they're dummy rounds. They will not fire. That's what we're using for this demonstration. So this is a Smith & Wesson 640 revolver. There are many different types of revolvers. So the first thing you need to do is when you pick it up or before you pick it up to have this in your head or before somebody hands it to you, you're gonna have to point the weapon in a safe direction at all times. Even during this process, you have to keep, keep an eye on where this muzzle is pointing. You don't wanna point it at anyone while you're unloading the weapon. So point it in a safe direction. The next thing, your finger is off the trigger, outside the trigger guard, right? This is the trigger guard. It's gonna be outside the trigger guard, pointed straight, okay? And the next thing you need to do is a revolver has a cylinder. That's where the rounds are. What you need to do is you need to release that cylinder. On the Smith & Wesson 640, this is it here. You push it forward. Some pull back towards you, some push in like a pen. They're different. You just have to try it out. So this particular one, we push it forward. As I'm pushing it forward, I'm going to cant the weapon to show you. I'm going to be pushing on the, on the cylinder to release it towards me. Pushing forward here, and we're releasing that cylinder. Now it's towards me. Here's all the rounds in each chamber. So now what we do is we can cant the weapon and use gravity while being aware of where our barrel is pointed. Cant the weapon, use gravity, and use the ejector rod, which is here. And you can see as they're, they're falling out already. And then you push them out, and then they, they fall out to the floor, to a table, wherever you are. Now what you can do is you can cant the weapon. 
you can can the weapon and look at each chamber. This particular weapon has five, and I'm seeing that all five are empty, right? I can see light coming through. I'm also checking the barrel, making sure there's nothing in the barrel. It's a very short barrel weapon. So now the weapon is empty. We can see that. We can leave it like that. We can close it up again. And remember, you watch somebody do that and they hand you the weapon, you do that same thing over and over again. Remember, we, we discussed it already. You check the weapon, you go through and make sure it's safe. You're going to handle the weapon. It's going to be under your control. You physically make sure it's safe and clear. So now that's it for the revolver. We're going to move on to the semi-automatic handgun. Okay, next we're going to clear a semi-automatic handgun. This is a Glock 43. Again, we're using dummy rounds, so these do not fire for safety purposes. Same, same with the revolver we do with the semi-automatic. Make sure the firearm's pointing in a safe direction. Finger is outside the trigger guard, off the trigger, while we do this. Now, with the semi-automatic, first thing we want to do, hit that magazine catch and release the source of ammunition, the magazine. Right? Then the next thing we want to do is we want to rack the slide back to release the round in the chamber, assuming there's a round in the chamber. We always have to assume that. So we rack the slide back, and you see this round just came out. We want to rack the slide back, and you see there's a slide stop lever right here. So if we rack this several times to make sure this is the slide stop lever. So as I'm racking the slide back, I'm pushing up on the slide stop lever which is holding the slide back now with the slide locked to the rear or back i can cant the weapon we can actually look inside and see that the chamber is empty there's nothing in the chamber i can see it's empty now if it's a low light situation you can use a flashlight you can always stick your finger in there to feel if there's a round in there if if it's a low lower light situation but we want to lock the slide to the rear so we can see that there's no round in there. A common mistake that people make that aren't very experienced with firearms is when they go to clear a semi-automatic, they fail to remove the magazine first. So what they do is they rack the slide back, it ejects around, and they think, okay, now there's no round in the chamber. Then they take the magazine out, and they fail to realize when they rack that slide and ejected that first round this is spring loaded so of course it did what it was supposed to do it actually pushed up another round into the chamber when that first round came out so don't fall for that mistake the first thing you need to do is remove the am ammo source which is the magazine that's the first thing you do first thing that happens is release that magazine take out the ammunition source, then you rack the slide. You can do it multiple times, and then you want to lock it to the rear. Keep it to the rear so you can actually cant the weapon and look into the chamber to make sure that it's clear. You can also look down into the magazine well and see that it's clear there as well. You can see light coming through there. And another thing you can do is you can count your ammo when you're finished and make sure, assuming that it was fully loaded, you need to make sure but if you're seeing the weapon and clearing the weapon with your own eyes, then you shouldn't need to count the ammo. That's it, folks. That's how you clear a semi-automatic and a revolver handgun. And remember, you just watch somebody do this and they hand you the weapon. You do it all over again right in front of them. That's it, folks. It's that simple. So remember, even if you're getting funny looks from someone, even if they just cleared the weapon and they hand it to you and you go through the same process and clear it in front of them and they give you a funny look for it, like, why are you doing this? Do it anyway. Do it for your safety. Do it for the safety of the other, other people around you. Do it so it instills that muscle memory and you always do it. It's just a habit. You pick up a firearm or someone hands you a firearm, you automatically do it no matter what. Go through the act and make sure the weapon is clear. Again, if it's under your control, you need to determine that the weapon is safe. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it. Also consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.